Isaiah 65 is a picture of God's character. He's just, but he's also loving, long-suffering, but also deals with disobedience and sin. At this time, God's people were walking in idolatry, disobedient to his instructions. They were doing weird sacrifices to pagan gods and all kinds of weird rituals. So God says he'll deal with those who have rebelled, but not everyone, those who are guilty. But here's what he says about those who are not. Listen to this verse, verse eight. Thus says the Lord, as new wine is found in the cluster, and one says, don't destroy it all, for a blessing is in it. So I will do for my servant's sake that I may not destroy them all. So here's what he's saying. When you, you find a cluster of grapes and some of them are you know rotten, some of them are spoiled, but there's some good ones in there. And this is the analogy that, hey, don't destroy the whole vineyard, but save those who are good. So, so that's what this verse eight is talking about. Those who've remained faithful, those who've walked in the truth and kept his word will be spared. And one day inherit all that God has promised and planned for his people. In fact, here in Isaiah 65, we have God once again sharing the great promise of making all things new. Listen to verse 17 through 18, I'll read it for you. For behold, I create a new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered or come to mind. But be glad and rejoice forever in what I create. For behold, I create Jerusalem as a rejoicing and her people a joy. So God's gonna create a whole new deal for those who trusted him, for those who kept his word, for those who walked in truth. So he goes on to even describe that time of millennial kingdom here on earth. So, so let me read these verses for you. It shall come to pass that before they call, I'll answer. And while they are still speaking, well, I'll hear. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together. The lion shall eat straw like the ox, and dust shall be the serpent's food. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, says the Lord. It's a promise and a prophetic look at the nature and character of our God. A great reminder that God always deals with our defiance and keeps his promises to make all things new. In fact, one of my favorite verses, if anyone be in Christ, he or she is a new creation. God will take that which is spoiled, that which is defiled, that which is defiant, and he deals with it. And then he takes those who are faithful and he creates all things new. In fact, one day he says in Isaiah 65, that even the wolf will lie down with the lamb and there'll be a wonderful time of a new creation because God, he's just, but he's also very good.